Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkers and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be doing something we haven't been doing it for a while and that is we're going to be tutorial my next drive. This drive is manufactured by a company called Annihilate Control Techniques and it looks like so. This drive is cool. I believe you, I love it and I'm hoping that you love it by the time you finish watching this video. Annihilate Control Techniques most likely, I don't know how the thinking was going on there, ham together and thought to themselves, look guys, there's a great drives out there, but there is uh, there is not really a drive out there, in my view, that's how I would look at it, that would sort of tick all the boxes for the average Joe like me and you. The man, there was a person in the garage that wants to set up his lathe or drill or whatever he requires, single phase supply to run his three phase motor, and they created this drive. And what's unique about this drive is the first of them all that I have tutorial that is fully set up and configured with the phone. You can do it with the buttons if you wish, but trust me, by the time you finish watching this video, you'll never touch the buttons because the app is absolutely amazing. The app is called uh, Marshall, can be downloaded from all the, all the app stores, whatever they're called, from Apple or whatever, Samsung, I don't, I haven't used Apple. Sorry, I haven't used Samsung, so I don't know how the Samsung were, but from apps, uh, app stores and things like that. So, this phone in here I've got in here, it's, 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 uh, I've got this, uh, this is iPhone 13. Uh, I was fortunate enough to work with this drive about a year ago when they were still in development. Uh, now they did, uh, now they controlled it, and he did contact, got in touch with me, he said, look, uh, it looks like you're doing quite a bit of drives. I'll look at the drive that we are working on, see what you think from a uh, point of, uh, use and things like that so uh and uh, so and at that time i was using iphone 7 and it worked perfectly then so i believe that all the phones will do no problem and things like that so the, tra the data transfer i'll show in a minute how that works is very simple and uh yeah so i do believe united control techniques has pushed the boundaries for the next guys now to catch up because it's awesome it has got everything that you will need it's, it's, it's massively scaled down to uh, their commanders and uh, C, I think they're called C200s and, 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 and uh, unit drives and things like that. That does not mean there is the, the, the quality what uh, Control Techniques provides because Control Techniques does uh, produce some very awesome drives with, with uh, cool features and, and, and longe longevity and quality. That does not mean because they scaled this one down, they just scaled this down for the, aver for the, for the average the average person would use for that's what it's and for whatever which person you know you don't really need much so and this is going to give you everything you need trust me again we're going to be playing like we always do we're recreating three videos we're going to uh, look at the two scenario three scenarios for the local control uh we're going to look at the, the two wire control three wire control and also going to look at the up and down and uh, uh um what's it called uh multi-speed control as well so how about Let's stop talking and start working. Let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, as we always do, we're gonna go through the wiring and terminals and things like that. So when it comes down to wiring, as you can see, my drive is powered already. So uh, L1, L2 and L3, as you can see, there's three. This drive is designed to run with a three-phase 220 volt supply or single-phase supply line and a neutral. So L1 is going to be your line, and L2 is going to be your neutral. You have earth points down here, and also you have a UVW, which is self-explanatory, which goes to the motor. This should be set up like so when it comes down to all six terminals inside a uh, connector box and uh, then you have a uh, RS485 well, for more bus communications uh, from there on you have a uh, two uh, uh, three uh, connector blocks in here first one is for your analog in and outs second one is for your digital inputs and uh, the third one is going to be for your relay outputs so and then you have a uh, four buttons and a screen screen is more or less for indications point of view and then you have a settings button in here stop button in here and you have up and down or start button pretty much fairly easy i'm not going to go through this because I, I i would like to follow the same way as i know they designed this drive these people to use the app so to get an app is quite uh, straightforward so if you are using the phones, a basic phone like mine, uh, just go on the side of the phone. 
There we go. So are you going to you because my phone was able to do that? It's just picked up. It says, "Hey, I I, I just picked up an NFC tag, and uh, 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 just click on it." So let's do it again. There we go. Pick it up. Let's see it. Tag. Boom, and it will take you straight to the App Store. Bam. Once it takes you to the App Store, just download your app, and you should be good to go. After that, so let's have, let's check the app now. Hopefully you guys can see. I know there's a light everywhere is popping out. I'm doing, I'm doing my best to get this in the light. So let's open up your app. So let's first close it down. So let's close it down properly. So uh, and uh, open up our app. And there you go for them. From there on, it's going to say log in or uh, continue as a guest. For simplicity point of view, we're going to continue as guest. So from there on, as you can see, uh, as you continue to get this, the first thing is going to ask you connect to your drive using NFC. By the way, you can download and uh, you can download and upload data into the drive. It does not have to be powered. You can uh, change your parameters and change uh, quite a bit of things in there, but especially can also set up something like you can do that without drive being powered, even just still being in the box if you wish to do so. It does work. But we are going to be doing when the drive is powered up. So from there on, you can see you can clone a drive, create a uh, drive configuration, offline conversion and something like that i'll let you guys uh play it with yourself which is going to get yourself so familiarized with the app itself and you can uh for their own can crack on it with yourself so first thing to do is connect to the drive it says ready to scan so all you need to do is just go around here until you hear click like a little noise once you do that voila the drive is just now downloaded uh well uploaded downloaded whatever you want to call it they got all information out of the drive into the app now now we know everything there is to know about that about uh, including all the parameters, setups, and everything there is you need to know. How cool is that? From there on, like we always are uh, uh, doing, we're going to reset the drive. You're going to see a little uh, green uh, green button in here. Just click on that one. It's like a sub-menu, I would call it. As you can see, you can do quite a bit. You can PDF it, you can save it, you can share it, you can... Uh, uh, drive properties, uh, read from drive, write from drive, default drive, and reset drive. How about we're going to default everything to manufacturer settings? Just click default and it's going to tell you how would you like to default. Would you like to default just the project? Project NS drive or drive only? How about we do both? Here we go. Come on. Don't just need to be around a bit. And voila, drive is now fully reset. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how simple is that? Next up, let's commission our drive. So there's a couple of ways to do the commission your drive. We're going to do the fast start. So that's for, the, for, for our use at the moment. You can just do the fast start, but there's you can do it. We, we, we can play with these in the future in the upcoming videos. But today, we're just going to do the fast start. Let's click on that one. So take it down there. It says the motor control speed and confirm. So it pretty much tells you what we need to do to get this baby boy, this guy in here, running. So let's begin. So from there on, first up, it's the drive. So uh, yeah, first is 230 volts. The second one, we need to edit at the amps, which is 1.98 for me. Uh, point, uh, 98. One thing I like about this drive is though, it can accept uh, any draw, any motor below uh, to, uh, below 2.2 kilowatts. How awesome is that? It can be like my one in here, it's 0.37 kilowatts, even though the drive is 2.2. So. RPM, so let's go to RPM, so which is my one is a, a 1380, 380, done with that one. And from there on, what is our power factor? My one is, is a 0 0.07, you can see that one on your motor plate where it comes like a cost sign in here. So I went done that, so uh, done that, just click on there and click next. So from, from there on, it says in here, uh, we need to. We, we, we can do the run test. How about we do the run test? We can skip it, but we do the run test. Let's go into run test. It says prepare the drive. So let's prepare the drive. There we go. So as you can see, my drive's changed to ready. Hopefully, you guys are able to see that. So from there on, is uh, when you click next, it says in there both, hold both of these buttons. So let's do that. Let's just demonstrate that. So let's do that. Let's hold it. And as you can see, my motor is spinning clockwise. Yeah, are we? Here? You're happy with that? We're happy with that. So let's tell him that we are happy with that. So we we go down. It says motor turns in the correct direction, wrong direction. Motor did not turn at all. So we go motor uh, uh, turn in a correct direction. 
Perfect. So happy with that. So uh, spin test complete successfully. Thank you. And let's go into controls. And then it's going to tell you how you want to control it. So for for this today's video, we're just going to we're going to look about how to change this in the, in the, in the, in an app in a couple of in the, in the next video. But today it says we're going to use the keypad for it. So here we go. It says it pretty much tells you in here: hold up and down button to start, adjust drive speed using uh, the up and down buttons, and stop. How simple is that? Jeez, that is just as simple as you can possibly get. Click next. And then speed, so it tells you what your acceleration is going to be. So let's we'll change our accelerations to one second. That's done there. And uh, who really should do motor acceleration? So what about a our uh, deceleration? Let's change deceleration to one second as well. Why not? I can do what I want. So uh, from there on, so I'm quite happy with that. So I wonder. Oh, look at that! Fast, default, slow, slower. Oh wow, there's like a preset you can do as well, isn't it? Awesome, didn't notice that, but I still want to, I still want one second. So as you can see, the app is guiding you through to simplicity. As I said, anyone can do this. It's so simple, it needs very little bit electrical knowledge about it as well. So let's click connect. And then it says, uh, what, uh, what is the maximum speed the motor is going to be, sh should turn? For us, it's going to be a uh, uh, 50 hertz. What minimum speed the motor should be? We're going to leave it at zero as well. So obviously you can change that for your specific for, for your needs, but we're going to leave it as that. So from there on, we are going to confirm. Then we're going to do a right to drive, as you can see this one in here. So now, I just transferred everything into the drive. We're going to say finish, and that is it. So how about our drive is well more or less ready? How about we test it? So. Here's that. Here is our motor. As you can see, my motor has changed from inhibit for ready. As you can see, by clicking those two buttons together, as the app told us to do, is in start mode. So here we go. So it says it says that we need to go up and down buttons in here to go up and down. Look at that. And it is a change in percentage. Well, I'll look at it if it's possible to do without percentage, but 100% is going to be our 50 hertz. Look at that. Smooth as butter. Good quality drive. Runs very quiet. I mean, it's very quiet. Wow. And stop. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you commission and get your uh, control techniques NIDEC drive going. So let me just swap the cameras if it's possible. Hope you enjoyed it. I love it. It is brilliant. As you can see, the app was built for anyone, for the average Joe, like me and you. How about that? So for this video, as you can see, we did our local control. In the next video, we're going to look a bit, bit more deeper into the app itself, do a bit more extra wiring with quite a different types of wiring. We'll have a look at it. We'll navigate a little bit through, up through the um, uh, app so you can get familiarized the same way I have. So you are well prepared and pretty much good to use this drive. So. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the and uh, like the video if you do like the video and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.